Okay guys, I'm heading over to Connor and Katisha's rental house and I'm excited to see it in person for the first time. I've seen it, you know, pictures online, Zillow, etc. They finally got their tenants in there. They moved in a few days ago, I think on the first. So they started collecting rent, which is fantastic. They have had a lot of issues with this property. I would caution people about buying houses from a flipper and just really get them inspected. Even if you are unable to get your inspection as a part of your offer, do get it inspected afterwards so you can really figure out what's wrong with the house. I'm heading over there now to both see it and do a quick video shoot, but also turns out the water heater quit working and I brought some tools and I'm gonna walk them through how to do that so they'll just know. I'm excited to see it in person and show it to you guys also. I wanna say they painted a bathtub, which is a project that they did. There were a few miscellaneous things that they actually took care of themselves. The air conditioner, the heating and air has had some trouble and they've had to place a few parts here and there. They didn't have to replace the entire unit or any major units. I think the fan motor, some things like that. The tenants called the fire department, I wanna say yesterday after being in there for a day or two. The smoke alarms went off. The tenants called the fire department who checked everything out and really couldn't find anything. But Connor and Kondisha think it's due to the heating and air motor that's burning up that hasn't been replaced yet. So they've just gone through a lot in a short amount of time. I think a lot of times these houses that have been flipped were in really bad shape. And a flipper is generally just gonna do the bare minimum to make it look as good as it can kind of short-term fixes in my opinion and also these houses haven't been lived in in a while who knows how long it was vacant before the flipper did it who knows how long it took the flipper to do his thing there may be some kinks that need to be worked out anytime you buy a house from a flipper as opposed to a house that's been currently lived in but Connor and Curtisha are doing great. I'm encouraging them not to be discouraged. They're getting a year's worth of problems compacted into, you know, a, a month or two here. As soon as they get these little things fixed, they should be on smooth sailing, hopefully for several months and work on growing their portfolio instead of fixing little problems. So let's go check it out. If you enjoyed this video, it would really help the channel if you would click the like button. You guys, we're back with Connor and Curtisha at the rental house. They've actually got tenants in here, so we're gonna hear a little bit about that. Uh, they started moving in, what, two, three days ago? Mm -hmm. Today is the third. Mm -hmm. so, so they moved in on the first. Okay, cool, so we're getting rent. Yes. Awesome, that's great. Just wanna kinda catch up with you guys from the last time you were on the channel. Last time we met, we actually were reviewing the lease. You know, so we'll talk about that. But if we back up before then, you guys had a few repairs that you were working on on the house to get it ready for the last week before they move in. Maybe you can show us some of those. We're gonna do a quick walkthrough so you can show us some of that. Yes. We're here actually fixing the water heater. A couple of things going wrong, but the air conditioner, I think there's still something outstanding. You're gonna replace a motor, I believe. Correct. Okay. And that fan motor may have caused the smoke alarms to go off and the whole uh, fire department was called uh, early. <laughs> The fire alarms woke them up this morning, bright and early, and they smelled smoke, and smoke was all in the house. They could see it as well. Excellent. So they called the fire department, <laughs> and welcome to day three okay. of renting a house. Wow. So, so you, oh yeah, you opened up the garage and there was water spewing out everywhere. That was a couple yeah. weeks ago. Yeah, okay. A weeks ago. So now you've got the water heater. And from that repair, you think you actually may have damaged the water heater element. Yeah, make me look good. <laughs> <laughs> so statistically speaking, like after this, you should have nothing go wrong for like, you're good for a year or two, I think. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> okay, so you did the Zillow Rental Property yeah. Manager. Yeah. And roughly how many people were interested and uh, applied? About 50 people were interested and reached out wanting to tour. There were about 10 applications, like full sets of applications that just went straight through yeah. um, and only one of those people had actually seen the inside of the house and they did the application before they saw the inside of the house and they're actually here now so anyway oh, okay. they're the ones that worked out but cool. yeah so it was a lot it was a very overwhelming response like I know you said yeah. I was still not prepared for it mentally <laughs> Out of the 50 or so that actually were interested, how many did you speak to or text or talk to? The majority, I would say wow. probably 60%. I at least would like kind of give a first message of please try to drive by the house and ask them a little bit more information if they didn't already submit the application. So I tried to talk to at least the majority there towards the end once we kind of decided I, I dropped off and started slacking. But <laughs> <laughs> okay. So the Zillow Rental Property Manager went pretty well, pretty easy. It was great, okay. yeah, so easy. Cool, so how did you choose the one tenant over all the 50s? You know, how did, how did the one stand out? Yeah, so their rent to income ratio was great. It was probably one of the best for sure. They definitely like showed a ton of interest and in that they were serious very early on by going ahead and submitting that application. They came to a tour with me like 
within the first two days and immediately like at the tour they're like okay what's the next steps like what do we do cool. now so they were just showing a ton of interest and being very good and responsive also helps that two of them are the same profession as me i don't know if i've told you that yet oh no they're two sisters here and they're both physical therapists so. oh okay <laughs> i was trying not to be objective and not be biased but it was helpful cool <laughs> okay kind of fun Neat. yeah Mm -hmm. Let me back up a second. When you said their rent to rent to income ratio, Zillow shows that. So basically, how much the, the monthly income is divided by the monthly rent. You want a good at least three times the rent in take home pay. Zillow shows you that right next to everyone. Very yeah. easily. Yeah. Let's check it out, guys. Okay. So this is the living area. Looks great. Yeah, they were starting moving in. Okay. But... Smells good. Looks good. Yeah, we go on into. The kitchen is in here. Check the fireplace out. Mm -hmm. Kitchen over here are our new furry friends. <laughs> Who is that? This is Ava hey guys. And Rose. Oh. <laughs> well, so well behaved, right? Oh my gosh, no barking. So nice kitchen on you. Appliances and stuff, which we're excited about. Absolutely. Yeah. Neat and clean. Is this granite or Corian? Looks like granite. Great question. I think it's granite. Yeah. <laughs> Laundry areas in there, still getting that set up. Super nice. Hey guys, oh my gosh. You're like the best dogs. These are the tenant's appliances, right? Yes. Nice. Pantry here. All right. Dining area. Super Ooh. well done. Love the floors. And bedroom down here. Okay. <laughs> Great. Double closets? Double closets, yeah. Okay. And then this first bathroom. With nice. a fresh re enameled tub yeah. by yours truly. Great job. <laughs> Seriously, that's a fantastic job. I'll give you the picture of the before. It was tragic, so okay. it looks way better. <laughs> was that your first time doing that? Absolutely. We had okay. no idea what we were doing. It was terrifying. <laughs> it's so, like the last few nights prior to Rennie, you guys were here like late nights? Oh, yeah. We were here every okay. night the last week until about 9.30. And uh, how has this impacted your exercise routine? Drastically. We've not <laughs> yeah. been to the gym in the last yeah. week, but yeah. we'll get back to it tomorrow. <laughs> you weren't at class uh, last week. I didn't make it, yeah. Yeah. I, I don't usually miss that. <laughs> yeah. Usually go to the gym every day. Every day? I've wondered that. About six days a week. Okay. Just about it. There's one bedroom oh. and a closet. We also put oh. these up. Old school hardwoods yeah. up here. Love it. Here's the other bathroom up here. Didn't need too much. Oh, super nice. Love. Yeah, put the nice. Up. Are we in the attic now? Or does it or is there more up there? Or is this uh, I don't think there's any more. Okay. Just an extra closet and then the third bedroom. Okay. Yeah, and two more well, one full closet and then kind of a little half closet. Okay. We had to re-nail that little crawl space cover and then add the shelves in here as well. Learned how to do that. Awesome. Yeah. Not too bad. No, that's great. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> I mean, it's so clean. What color did you re this? <clears throat> uh, I put a little bit there. Yeah, nice. Like and he also touched up the grout. Oh, okay. Here. There were just a couple places that were kind of chipped. So oh, he okay. did a little bit of brush. Financing wise. Are you keeping track of all your receipts? Put them in a folder, yes. something simple for we're tax reasons? To, yes, we're about to get more organized this week with a nice filing thing, but we have them in a very good pile for now. Good, good. <laughs> and you're working to get a separate checking account that you're gonna use just for yes. the rental. and another savings account as well. Yeah, yep. getting all that in order. You're gonna get a savings and put the security deposit in there. Yes. And have you identified a separate credit card that you're gonna use for only for your rental stuff? That is in the works. Okay, yeah. cool. Go Sounds on. good. Yeah. All right, guys. Well, let's go check on the water heater. Yes. <laughs> it looks awesome. <laughs> looks great. Thanks. Love the shutters. Yeah. Okay, hopefully we've got enough water out of the tank now that we can get back to that. Yes. <laughs> Yard looks like it has a lot. All right, so let's get to numbers for a second. Mm -hmm. So rent is what? Base rent is eighteen fifty, and then there's a twenty dollar per month per pet fee on top of that. And they have three pets, sixty dollars, so nineteen ten. Okay, nineteen ten mm -hmm. on the rent, mm -hmm. and expenses are roughly. Their mortgage is twelve fifty. 
minus and then insurance and taxes. It's all included in that number. Oh, that's right, because you got it escrowed. Mm -hmm. And then they pay utilities, there's really nothing left. So on a monthly- Besides all the stuff that's going on right now. Yes, besides, pass. yes, besides <laughs> repairs, that is part of, when we say cash flow, we're just talking really like monthly recurring, your income minus your recurring expenses. Mm -hmm. So you think you're cash flowing roughly how much? $710. $710 per, per month. month. That's awesome. Yeah. Yeah. It is. <laughs> <laughs> well done. Maybe a little high five on that. Yes. <laughs> Are they still high five? That's exciting. I can tell. I, I see it in, in Kritisha. That, that's the one thing that really excites her. So, <laughs> hey, well, we spoke about goals. I was asking you guys, like, how many do you want to do? And a little while back, you said you could have five by the yeah. end of the year. Is that after all these issues you've had, is that five still what you want to do or has that changed any? No, I mean, the maintenance stuff definitely not scaring us away. Good. It's, it's more the market that's uh, it's tough right now. Yeah. Yes. I mean, we were looking at houses back in January, February time period to get third one actually and put in a handful of offers on places and it's so competitive. Yes. And we're following places and you know, they're asking to put their, or 50, 60 over asking all cash. Yeah. Which makes it super tough to, I got gotcha. you. To get get places. I think that's going to be our limiting factor, not necessarily our drive and what yeah. we want. Yeah, <laughs> we can get the places. The goal is still five. Yeah, okay. so. cool. But hopefully, at the very minimum, we can get one more by the end of the year and get it cranking. That I think that would still be phenomenal. Yeah, yeah. Uh, the goal would be to what? M try to move into it and rent out yes. the one that you're in now, and just kind of keep that going. Yeah. So you can get those owner occupied rates. Mm -hmm. Good deal. Mm -hmm. All right, guys. Well done. Great job. It's great seeing this come through to fruition. Yeah. So congrats. Let's do it again. Yeah. yeah. Thank you. <laughs> we're going to get back to the water heater issue. So First thing we're going to do, Connor beat me here and he, he turned off the power to the water heater. Luckily, this one was labeled. Very good job. So they're always going to be at 220 or double pole. You think about just a single one is going to be 110 volts and a double one is going to be 220 volts. So this is serious stuff. You definitely want to have that off and double and triple check, right? It was here and he just put it over there. Now we're going to go to the water heater. You know, you'll have a disconnect like this always. This is probably code. It'll either be this or a breaker. So I just pulled this out. Why not? So this is just fuses. Connor's already taken these both off. Obviously, this is electric and not gas. So what you're going to have here are two thermostats up at the top here. We're just going to wiggle these guys off. Let's see. You'll have two thermostats. So that went that direction, it's on the top. And then you'll have thermostat here. And then this is the element that actually heats it up. So when it gets too cool, it clicks on and then, you know, shuts off. You'll see here the temperature settings if you want your water hotter or cooler. Like if they get in here and say, it's not hot enough, or if they run out of hot water uh, too quickly, you can make it hotter and it'll last longer. So this is a pretty standard, what is this, 50 gallon? Something like that. And I think it's the top one that goes out more often than the bottom, because this, if you think about it, the water comes out of this at the top. It's gonna use up the top of the tank first. So this one will have more work going on. And so that's why this one turns up more. Let's do this, Connor. Let's put that on AC, flip it down to 250 volts. The next thing we wanna do, so what happens is, if they're not getting anything, one of these elements is burned out. And so we're gonna take the wires off of this, and then we're gonna test that element. Take it out. Yeah. And, um, we probably only need to take one off to, to do this test. This wire up and in. Uh, the next thing I want to do is test the continuity. If, have you seen what one of these looks like? Yeah. Uh, so it's just a big, long, thick element that heats up with electricity. In theory, so if it's burned out, when you pull it out of here, it probably won't be burned in two. Now they can be, but usually they're not. It's just really the, internally it is. And so what we're going to measure here is try to see if we, the electricity goes all the way through. And so on your meter, there's it's called uh, ohms. So flip it over on one of those, uh, maybe this one, and then touch the two together. When we had it on AC, you're testing electricity coming in. Here, that's not what we're doing. So if you would have touched it together when you had it on the AC, nothing would have happened. But here on ohms, see the meter goes to the middle. And so that means it's getting, you know, uh, there's a battery in this that's pr producing some current that's making it complete the circuit here. And so what we're trying to do is see if our element still, you know, has continuity or still connected inside. So let's touch it here and there. It's the correct way. It doesn't matter. I guess I'd stay off this though. You always want to stay off that in case. So you're touching them? Huh. So it's not up as, now touch them together. It doesn't go up a little higher than that. Okay. So it's not like 100%. You follow me? Mm -hmm. It's a little less, but that's pretty good actually. Why don't we do that with this one down here and kind of see how that goes. And this just takes these. Bottom, like that. So you just pull one of those off. 
This way, you know, if you had the wires on there, it could potentially complete the circuit up through the wires. So we want to eliminate that, right? So we're just going to see what happens here. Oh, that one's kind of full. Do you see how that one goes all the way up? Yep. And this one was less? Yep. That makes me believe that it's probably the top one that's bad, and that's consistent with the top one tearing up more. That's really good because in order to take this off, we've got to drain the tank, otherwise water's gonna be shooting out all over us. So we want to use this here just to go up to a garden hose, have it go outside, and you don't have to wait as long for that. Obviously, this is the pressure release valve. And it's good that you have that too, that's code. I guess the next step is us for us to find a water hose. It's in the front. So we've got the water hose hooked up, and before we open it there, we need to shut the water off to the house. So, I mean, to the water here itself. So, you want to do the honors, Connor? All right, so off. I'm a little concerned. So, that's what, that's the cold water going to it. Yep. So, if you think about suction in here, we, now we need to go open up the hot water knobs in there. So, it allows here. Yeah. Otherwise, it would just kind of sit there. All right, guys. So, this is a little wet. And what Connor was telling me is that a couple of weeks ago, or not long ago, you came in here and there was actually water coming out of here, going on the water heater. You made a repair made it here. During that, you guys actually turn this off, let some water out of here so you can work up here. And you think that you may have had it empty. I think they call it a dry fire where you had this hooked back up, but wasn't full of water yet. And that would definitely burn out your elements. And that also would you know, happen in the top of it as well. And it's a brand new water here, which I just learned makes sense. It's so, so new. That would explain why it burned out early. And also this is wet. So you, you took these panels off just before I got here. So it's still wet. So uh, we're, when we're finished fixing it here, we're gonna leave this to dry out with a fan before putting the covers back on so that we don't have more moisture near all this electricity and all that. We remove the other wire because this is gonna come out. We gotta take this to the store. And they have like a, a long socket that goes on here, but we don't have that. So Connor, since it's new, Connor was able to put his pliers on here and break it loose and just counterclockwise. We're still letting it drain a little bit. And then we're gonna pull this out, take it to the store, go ahead and get that tool, come back and put one in. Probably 20 bucks or something guessing. What do you think, Connor? Probably isn't draining that much. So we've disconnected everything. We've gone inside and opened up the hot water so it will let this drain out. So it is definitely burned up and pretty much in two. Wow. <laughs> okay, so you think you did this. Good job, Colin. Yeah, but I turned the power on too early. Yeah. You just wanted to get in there, didn't you? <laughs> yeah, I think we oh found the problem. You know, what's weird is that the ohms meter said that continuity was going through this. Mm -hmm. How's that possible, right? Maybe down here, oh, it's touching. Oh, that another piece that yeah, fell? Yeah, it's touching right there. Okay, so it's touching here. So the electricity <laughs> went like from here to around there. Really, there's usually, when it's not busted up like this, there's a small line here where it wouldn't be touching that. But you see, it's mostly copper. I think we found it. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, so we got that all, all wet. This is all wet. You know, I keep this thing out here more like a week. If you want to borrow a dehumidifier that I have, just sit here and suck the water out of here. It actually, the inspector you know. recommend we get one to put under the house. Okay. Should we just go ahead and get one, put it in here for now, and then slip it under there? Yeah. Let's do that. I do that on like half my houses. I'm going to turn Connor loose. He's going to take this to the store and get a replacement. Now, it won't look exactly the same, there's gonna be some numbers on this, and I would take pictures of all this stuff, and it's gonna be how many watts, I believe. And you're basically for the same wattage. So it might be short, it might be long, whatever. You'll see how wide this thing is, you know. So you're gonna go ahead and buy the tool, you said you'll just buy your own meter. This one was on the right. That, actually, it doesn't matter at all. It doesn't matter which side that goes on, mm -hmm. down here. So then, once you get those, back on before you turn the electric on you're gonna close that back up to the bottom you're gonna actually leave those open inside you're gonna turn the water back on and you want water to come out of the hot water side before you turn the power on otherwise you'll burn it up again like what think happened last time when you turn the power back on you should actually hear these thermostats will recognize that it's cool and you'll hear like a click or a snap and then you'll hear the heat come on and it'll be kind of a sizzling sound. So let's see, the water is coming in here, right? And coming out here. You should actually feel this get hot. And then once that happens, you'll be able to take a shower in 30 minutes, you know? So you should feel hot like right here. Not so much here, because this is insulated. And then you're just gonna let this fan run for a couple days on this. And you can show that your your, your guy, he can probably you know, put that back on once it's dry. You remember my house number 35 I bought from a flipper. I bet I've spent more than 10 grand fixing things. I had some really bad sewer problems, some drainage problems, some water coming into that basement. Oh, and then we had the septic tank was completely clogged up full and we had to redo all that. So it was a disaster. 
Uh, also, some exciting news about another deal that I won last weekend. I haven't closed on it yet, and I'm trying to squeeze it into the financing of uh, several properties, and so the banker just gave me some good news on that. If you enjoyed this video, it would really help the channel if you would click the like button. I hope you have a great week, and I'll see you next time. Oh, and by the way, although I'm a licensed CPA and I have three business degrees, I'm just a guy on YouTube, so be sure to contact your professionals before making any investment decisions. Thank you so much, and I'll see you next week. Feel free to put any question you have in any video in the comments, and I'll be happy to to do what I can to try to answer you guys. Thanks for watching the video. Appreciate your support. Hope you have a great week. We'll see you next time. Make sure to check out the rest of Jeremy's channel. It's helped us a ton. Go check it out. There's a lot of great stuff in there. IdentityGuard.com is now offering my subscribers a 33% discount on their services. See the link in the show notes below.